Part of the reason social commerce hasn't taken off like en masse like we would expect in the U.S. is a trust issue. We are seeing an incredible transformation in the world of commerce, largely due to the rising power of social commerce and the vibrant community of creators. And these creators aren't just on the sidelines, they're at the forefront, reshaping the core of our social commerce journeys. And the best part is that this trend isn't slowing down anytime soon. These types of creators, they, they really are having an impact on the way that Consumers, especially young consumers, make decisions around what they want to buy, what they're in, what they're interested in, what music they're going to listen to. You know, there are over 300 million creators worldwide, and we're seeing that that um, that just continues to grow exponentially over the last uh, last several years. And there's no sign that that's that's slowing down. And our data shows that nearly half of Gen Z says that social media influencers are actually the primary way they discover new products and, and brands. When we asked US online adults, um, and 47% said that they wouldn't complete a purchase within a social network because they um, they don't trust them with their personal information. So social media networks are a little bit lower on the trust scale than, than other platforms. So that's, that's certainly one core issue. But the second highest reason is that you know consumers actually prefer to purchase Directly, um, uh, directly from the retailer brand's website after seeing an ad, and I think you know what this shows us is that you know while trust is certainly an issue, it's not the only issue. Plenty of people still engage on social media platforms that they don't trust, right? They're still willing to do that. Um, the the real issue has been the experience to date. So things like out of sync inventory fees. You know, you go to purchase something within social media and maybe the product um, seems to be available but then ends up not being available. Or there's really unclear return policies. Like I, I bought a pair of shoes from Instagram and they didn't fit. And then I was like, I don't know where, I don't know how to return this. I actually had no idea where to return it. I ended up, you know, giving them to my babysitter. So those little things that are inconsistent, that are unclear, have really hurt um, the experience for consumers. But I think that's all changing, especially with TikTok's launch of shop. And you know, if they in particular can improve that experience, if social media platforms overall can imp improve that and make impulse buying a little bit easier, I think um, they really are capable of closing that social commerce loop from discovery to purchase. And we're gonna see a lot more adoption, especially with younger audiences uh, on these platforms.